I am so sorry it has taken so long to get this live stream started. Um, I'm sorry that we missed the going live for Robin's delivery. Um, the first puppy we were worried might have a complication. Um, we had the same issue with Myra um, where we had two bags come out and we um, it can be an emergency if um, depending on the cause of what, why it is happening, it can be an emergency. Sorry about that. It can be an emergency. And so, um, we wanted to wait to start the live until we knew more what was going on. And, um, so it took a couple of puppies to find out. Um, but by that point it was, um, like 2.30 in the morning and our moderators were all asleep and, um, we were just so tired. In fact, here, let me show you. <laughs> that's that's how I closed my eyes in between puppies last night. There's Robin. They're all here. Um, so she delivered seven. She the seventh was a stillbirth. Um, um, another interesting thing, just because um, we had a stillbirth in the last litter, and we've never really had stillbirths. We've only ever had like runts that didn't make it. Um, but this puppy, she came out last and she was, um, she, uh, um, very white. She, well, I noticed she wasn't moving. Um, and so I was looking at her just kind of for a quick second thinking like, you know, is she gone, gone or can we, can we yeah, can we resuscitate her? And, um, she, yeah, she was just, she was like white as a ghost. Um, so we have, um, we do have very, very healthy, very healthy litter of six with five girls, one boy. This is the boy right here. <laughs> this is a little chillaxer. He knows how to chillax. Wait, wait till you guys see our black and tan. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She is beautiful. She was really making me rethink mocha last night. <laughs> Do you want to do the honors of showing them this is sweet, sweet. of our beautiful black and tan? Oh my goodness, guys. Just get ready for this. Look at her back, first of all. She's got a heart on her back. What's hard to tell is her black is like jet black. She's got it's, a blaze. Yeah, she's got... So it's not common at all to ever see a black and tan with a blaze. Yeah, because she's... It's, It'll probably go away by the time she's an adult, yeah. but she might have a little bit left over. Yeah, it's really, I mean, <laughs> Elizabeth was joking with me saying that I was going to try and say that she's a tricolor because she's does Because she's got so much white. She does have a lot of white, but yeah, it's, it's just the, the, she's the prettiest thing. Oh, she's so pretty. Let me get for the sun. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um. They were all delivered between 1230 and the stillbirth was at about... Five, five something five. There's another, like, right five. Like, right five. Yeah. so she delivered them all pretty quickly um the first couple of puppies when she went into labor labor it was right after drew shut off the stream he came yeah. in he was shut off the stream and i was he notices robin's water broke on the bed and he's like darn it i just shut off the stream and i was yeah. like why did you do that <laughs> yeah it was <coughs> it was literally not 15 minutes afterwards and um, it wasn't her water broke. The uh, uh, she got a bubble. Oh, the bubble. Yeah, she got the bubble. There's water on the bed. Yeah, and there's a little bit of moisture. Um, she has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful puppies. We are really, we are so excited. Um, she's got a ruby. May got her wish. May really <laughs> wanted one of them to have um one in every coat color. Yeah, all four coat, all four coat colors. And so there's this beautiful ruby girl, and <laughs> let me show you guys her. She has a little white tip on her tail, so here's and the ruby, ruby. you want to show them the special marking? So she's got the really, uh, like she's got a nice little white there. She's got another, like the, that little... The, uh, that RBC. <laughs> yeah, the RBC, like... Uh, Dash, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, it's like a flash of white on right between her shoulder blades. And then, yeah, she's but got, our rubies and palms litter had that. And she's got the most perfect little white spot on her tail. How <laughs> right, cute is she? Right on the tip. Right on the tip. And she is really, so shaky. 
She was, when she came out, she was the one that made the most noise. She was, oh, yeah. She, she just was like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> She was a feisty little girl. She was a feisty little ruby girl. Feisty redhead. Um, and Robin, she was, um, she did really well. Remy, um, Remy really struggled with pushing Robin. Robin did not, um. And so that's the one, one of the reasons that I am disappointed we didn't turn on the live. I knew I was going to be disappointed this morning. <laughs> um, because with Remy's litter, it wasn't a very typical delivery because she didn't quite push the way she's supposed yeah. to. Um, Robin did a really good job of, you know, puppy would have, she would kind of work the puppy down and then she would give it a couple pushes. It would be crowning. She'd give it a couple more and it'd be out. Except for that one. Except for that one. We had one, which one was it? Was it the boy? Yeah, it was the boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. He was like a bowling ball. Holy smokes. Where did he go? Is Where he... is he? Because his head was huge. Because we were even like, hit... <laughs> when he comes out, yeah, so... we're going to be like. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to tell maybe uh, on the camera. But his head is significantly larger. Grab than Ruby's. Because he came right after her. Yeah, he did. Or he came right before her. Because he, he cleared the way yeah, for her. He, he cleared the way for her. So if you can. Look at their heads. Yeah, if you can tell. He did the same thing that the giant uh, Blenheim. Blenheim from uh, Remy's letter did, where his nose went down to his chest, and so he was approaching. You want to show us? Uh, yeah, so he, he was approaching like this, yeah. and you could see his uh, thumbprint as he was coming out yeah. of the birth canal. <laughs> and, like that was what was presenting, so it was kind of... We thought yeah, it was, it was his thumbprint presenting. Yeah, because we thought it was his butt at first. Yeah, we <laughs> thought he was coming breach. Yeah, and lo and behold, it was his head. But um, because his... His nose was tucked, and he was like basically presenting the, the widest part of his head to her, her birth canal. He kind of got stuck for a little bit, and she was like, she was not liking it. She was having a real hard time. That was that was like her one of her most difficult puppies. Yeah. She did have a Velcro puppy last year. She did, but um, when we're on the live, actually. Yeah. Uh, she was kind of she was kind of whining and crying because she was pushing real hard and nothing was happening. So we had to like kind of help her. Try to like I had to say try to stretch things out. And then finally, when he popped through, I thought that um, if um, dogs or anything like people, that she might tear during that one. Yeah. Just to give you guys an idea. But it was funny because uh, after the boy was born, we were sitting here, it had been three puppies, and we were like, oh, she's probably going to take a break now for an hour or so. And then... I told Drew that Drew goes to lay down in bed, and I got myself cozy over here. Yeah. And... Not five I, minutes later. Yeah, so he goes to bed, and um, he relaxes. I go pee, and by the time, like, we're settled... Now comes another puppy. Yeah, and it was like, it was like, she didn't hardly push. It was just like, boom, puppy's here. And it was like seven minutes later. <laughs> yeah, like, the deliveries were seven minutes is, apart. Is that the one where I was like, is there a puppy there? I mm -hmm. think that was. I yes, came, yeah, yes, I, I because, over. yeah. You're a good mama. You're such a good mama. Because it was like, the, the ruby just kind of dropped out of her. <laughs> she did. She really did just drop out of her. She came right after the big boy. Um, do you know where the, there is? Is that the only, oh, okay, oh. Thing that we have, it is. Yeah. We have two clipboards. Where's the other clipboard? You know? Um, I'm not one. sure. Um, since I do have the phone, I'm going to. I will kind of go over to Myra's puppies and over to um, Remy's puppies. Remy, so she's in the closet right now. She is such a sweetheart. Whenever we walk in there, she starts wagging her tail so fast, and she comes over to us as if to like invite us to come see her puppies. She's so proud of them. It is the sweetest thing. Um, I can't wait to bring her back out because Robin's going to go into the, going to get booted to the closet so she doesn't go mom and the other puppies. But she's doing really, really, really well. Um, there's our Blenheim girl. She has one Blenheim girl. You grab her so you guys can see her face. Oh. Blenheim girl. She's a cutie. She is very happy with her puppies. Thank you, Diana. So she, um, Bella actually pointed this out this morning. Her markings are very, very, very similar to Robin's. And Bella was like, she looks like Robin puppy. And I was like, oh, you know what? She does.
and got her sweetie. Oh, who's a good mama? Um, and so, um, total, she had three tricolors and then she had one of each other color. So there's three tricolors. Um, two of those are girls, one is a boy, and then the rest are all girls, which are, which are the black and tan, the ruby, and the bottom. <laughs> what a little snuggler. Let me go through and see. Let me say hello. I'm probably going to say good morning. I'm sorry. It's morning for me. Um, I think we didn't get to bed until um, about 8 o'clock this morning. So it was a pretty long night. I feel like I worked midnights last night. That was worse than midnights. Yeah, it was worse. There's Remy. Hi, baby. Can you go outside? You want to go outside right now? What about you, Mara? You want to go outside? <laughs> She's like, I don't want to leave my puppies. We have Stash going home today too. Um, we've been getting ready for that. Well, I should say, I should give Drew more credit. He's been getting Stash ready for that because um, he was able to take a nap. Luckily. Um, he went, he got in bed and took a quick nap. So he was, that was his sleeping spot last night. Um, and um, so he got a couple hours in. And so this morning he started preparing for Stash um, and let me get some sleep. But you know how that goes. I know you had to yell at me to. I had to scream. I was like, Drew. Drew, and finally I was like, Drew, like I was screaming for him from upstairs, yeah. and then his eyes just popped open. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I, like, I did not hear a thing until, the, I think it was actually kind of entering my dream, I remember. Like, oh. Like, Drew, Drew. Yeah, that was when we had the stillbirth, and Robin was, yeah. was she, kind of when it. they have a stillbirth, um, it's like after there's a, after a moment, they have a realization, they have a realization that the puppy needs help. And so after that, like, initial moment of, yay, there's a puppy, there's this frantic, like, oh, no, it's not moving. Oh, no, it's not moving. Oh, no, no, no. And so then we're trying to decide, like, do we remove the puppy right away? Do we, how do we handle this? Um, and I was alone at that. Drew was sleeping in bed, so I was calling for him to come help me because if I just started walking away with the puppy, I didn't know if Robin was going to follow me, and I didn't know if she had another puppy in there. Um, Speaking of which, we have to pop shot. Yeah. She needs her pop shot. We give her, um, we give our dogs the next day, um, something called a pop shot. And that's just kind of a slang-ish term. I'm not sure if it's an official term. But that's basically a dose of oxytocin, um, that follows labor when they're no longer in labor. Um, usually given the next day. Um, but you give it just a, give them a few contractions to see if just in case there's any remaining puppies or if there's any more birth matter, if there's any more after birth, um, it'll come out then with that. Um, and then one of these puppies has hearts all over her too, just like that in the, Myra's litter. That was the, uh, the second born girl. She's so pretty. Look at her little head, oh my gosh. You could have knocked me over with a feather when a ruby popped out. I was, like, not thinking ruby at all last night when I saw an all-brown puppy. Like, Robin, who did you sneak off with? She is a beautiful, beautiful puppy. Oh, my God. They're all beautiful. They are so pretty. They really are. They, are, they inherited their mother's they, beauty. You did not disappoint, Robin. No, okay. And their fur is incredible. They are so soft. I can't wait till it grows out because it's going to be this beautiful Macchiato Robin fur. I know, with this long, beautiful fur. Like, this this sw uh, swapped uh, Missy's letter from... The five boys. Yeah, from five boys, one girl, to five girls, one boy. Um, Emily Schultz is asking to see the dad. We can, um, um, I'll bring... Macchiato is, where is he? He's not in the Four Seasons room, but I don't know if I want to bring him No, in. I don't want to bring him in here. Um, 
I'll, 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 we'll, um, I'll bring the, I'll take you over to the dad, um, in a couple of minutes. He's outside right now. He's a black and tan, so he's this color. He's a good boy. He's so proud of his puppies. He hasn't met these guys yet, but he knows they were born. And so he is like super, super excited to be near our bedroom, by our bedroom when we open our bedroom door. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute because he starts, um, it's like he starts giggling almost. He starts getting like giddy. He'll start panting really fast and jumping around because um, he knows that we will we'll bring him in here eventually. Usually not right away, but when they're a couple weeks old, we'll bring him in. And he's just so good with them. He's, he likes to play with them. He's a very hands-on dad. <laughs> You're such good puppies. Um, how many puppies total? So that makes four, four, eight plus six, 14. So 14 pups total or between the three litters. Um, with, what is that? Nine girls, nine girls, five boys. She's the one with hearts on her. You guys are all so sweet. Oh my gosh, the school bus is here. What? The school oh bus. I'm trying to open the live chat. Oh no, okay. Oh. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Ann, Shelly. Good morning, Joe. Oh, if Drew wasn't leaving, I would have him sing um, Harvey for you, but he will, I promise. Sherry. I told, I hey, I made a disclaimer at the very beginning that I was going to say good morning and I wasn't going to try to correct it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Harvey, Harvey, <laughs> Harvey the Wonder Hamster. He doesn't bite, he doesn't spill, he only runs around with hamster wheel. Harvey, Harvey. Harvey, the Wonder Hamster. Hey, Harvey. All right, we still get it, even when Drew's had no sleep. Uh, good morning, uh, Jan. I don't know if I said hello to you. Susan, good morning. Emily, how are you? Karen, I know their little toes, aren't they? Oh, aren't they precious? Karen was talking about their little, sweet little, the, the pads of their feet. Good morning, Amber. There's a truck outside? Oh, that might be Stasha's family. Um, when sure. I was, when I was coming back, when I was coming back in the, when I was coming back home, I saw it. Wait, is it in our driveway or is it down by the end of the road? Did you say about in our driveway? At the road. Oh, it's at the road. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's not in our driveway with, with Pom Pom and Ren. They're all really, really good feeders, too. Um, at first, we were like some of them were a little sluggish. They were, they were suckling, but they weren't really latching. They were just kind of like sliding around. Um, so they are here or not here? All right, I'm going to go check and see if we have a visitor. So I'm going to set the phone down right here. What, Bella? It's not a visitor. How do you know it's not a visitor? There's a lady in the white truck. <laughs> well, that doesn't help much. There's more like someone's like getting, not getting a puppy. I'm going to take you guys over to Myra's puppies. Oh, I've got that, that adrenal sweat. Yep, yep, me too. Good morning, Myra. 
Myra was so curious about the puppies last night. She was, we actually had to temporarily move her pool into the bathroom because she kept um, climbing this, trying to come over and see Robin and the puppies. She kept hearing the puppies. Yeah, whenever there would uh, be a delivery and they'd start yelling and she'd start jumping on the gate. She is such a good mom. She, she's, um, it's like she's found a new purpose in life and she didn't know what she was missing. She's such a good mom. And I think this is the little girl. Um, oh, and I saw somebody ask about bloomerals for Robin. So apparently, um, out of all of our dogs, We've got lots of blue merls, but not Robin. not Robin. So it is kind of nice to know that we have a mom that we can mate and know whether or not we will or will not have blue merls because what's frustrating about blue merls is not knowing, um, not being able to predict them. Hi there, Cynthia. Remy did have a very difficult delivery. That was probably the most difficult delivery we've done. You're a good girl, Myra. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take you guys to, um, take you in here in the closet to Remy, now we are in a closet, so bear with me here. Oh. Remy's not in here, so I can't show you how sweet she is. Myra. Oh, there's Remy. Hey, Remy. Hey, Remy. You smell like you were eating poop outside. You smell like you're eating poop outside. <laughs> oh my goodness! Mama's back! Mama's back! Mama's back! such a good Tweety. Yes, you are such a good girl. Who is crawling on my foot? You went a little too far. You aimed too high. <laughs> she was a good girl. She's such a sweetie. She'll get, like, so excited to see us that she will start stomping on her puppies and like she kind of she sees us when we come in and she momentarily forgets about her puppies and she'll walk on them and she's a silly girl let me take you back over to robin hey robin there she is hi sweetie sasha's family just got here so i'm gonna go help help drew and see them but I'm gonna bring you guys back over to the newborn since um, you guys haven't seen them yet. Who's a good mama? <laughs> the horn maternity ward. It is a, it is like a maternity ward in here. She's such a good girl. I'm gonna turn the soup. Turn the soup. Turn the You are on the heating pad, sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's unwrap your tail, sweetie. 
Let's unwrap your tail. I went to sleep before unwrapping it. Tail is free. There we go, and we kept it mostly clean. At least it's dry. Clipped some of your fur along the way. Got a brush over here. Yesterday when she was laboring, I was like just brushing her out, and um, something about brushing her out. I just I was brushing her ears and her chest. Is all this was shaved, and her tail, and she. It really helped her relax when she was having back contractions. Oh, goodness sake. How did you guys work your way? How did three of you work your way over here? You silly puppies. <laughs> you guys are way too funny. You're such a good girl, Rabbit Dog. You are such a good mommy. So we've got the heating pad in the middle here. Check. We've got it at 110 degrees. I just don't want mama laying on the heating pad too much. Oh, sorry, I sorry, I sorry. Um we will get the other live streams turned on too. Uh, this one will probably kind of rotate between moms. Um, and then um, we'll get the the big puppies on, going on the front, on the front stream. We're such good babies.
Let's see.
she's such a good girl. Look at those cozy puppies. I love this little dash on the backs of their necks, and I love it even more now that um, now that it's across litters. In fact, she looks a lot like a puppy from. There was a puppy in Missy's letter about a year ago that didn't make it and he had a real similar blaze where it went down to his nose and was like the exact width of his nose and went straight up. We called him Tux because it was like a perfect little rectangle and he, so he looked like he was kind of wearing a tux and then he had, um, he had a white chest and it was like a square and so we, we called him Tux because it looked like he was wearing a tux. <clears throat> but he didn't, he... Yeah. He lived a couple of weeks. Um, he didn't have any readily obvious problems. We just noticed um, around day four or five, his weight was not gaining like it should. And he started, his nose was would turn, it would lose its pink when he would feed. Um, and when you see that when they're this age, that's usually a sign that um, there's a bigger problem going on with their hearts. And the way we can tell that is because... Um, when they're feeding, um, they gotta suck, swallow, breathe, you know, just like newborn infants. And when they're busy feeding, they're not breathing as efficiently. And so, you know, they have to stop to um, swallow. And so it compromises how much oxygen they're getting. And so you start seeing the pink fade from, from their extremities. And so that's usually indicative of a heart issue um, if that happens. And so, that's one of the things we watch for these first few days because um, if any of them were to have an underlying heart issue, um, it would be these first three days that we would notice it because as they adjust to life outside the womb, um, they no longer have mom doing everything for them. Mom's, it was mom's heart pumping for them before, but now, now their heart is taking over and so if their heart is compromised in any way, we're going to start seeing it. Um, by signs like that. Um, but they would have, like, grown completely, you know, normally. They appear normal at birth, and that's because up until that very moment, uh, mom's healthy heart has been doing all the work for them. And so that's why it takes a couple of days for us to really rule out that they, um, that they are completely healthy. Or I guess rule out that there are any problems. Um, but so far everybody looks really good. Everyone was over 200 grams, which, um, uh, which is about six to seven ounces. Um, pretty big for our Cavaliers. Robin's puppies are usually about like 225, but these guys, if I can find my book, these guys were about, um, they were between like 220 and 280. Um, our Blenheim girl is the smallest at 208. Or no, I take that back. Our Ruby is the smallest at 204. Um, our Tri Boy is the biggest at 280. And then the others are all kind of between there. 240, 262, 236. Um, we still don't even have collars on Myra's puppies yet, so we will get collars on them. I think we're... We're kind of running out of girly collars, so they may not be very girly. You're a good mama.
of you work midnights and um, when you work, you know, you work midnights or if you've ever worked midnights and you come home and you go to sleep and it's like, you know, well beyond daylight because you don't get to clock out at, you know, 530, you clock out at 7, 730 and you get home at 8 and so it's nice and bright out, the school buses are on the road and you get to go to sleep but you're in this fog the whole day. And so that's where I'm at right now. And but I feel sick. Like I feel sick to my stomach. <clears throat> and I remember feeling like this when I would, I used to work midnights when I was working the psych unit um, several years ago. And I know I could never do midnights on like a regular schedule um, as like an adult adult with children and everything with children and responsibilities. I could do it when I was just out of college and it was just me and Drew and um, had Haley at the time, but she, she's a real easy kid. She was real easy. And so now I just feel blown. My stomach hurts. My head hurts. And about five o'clock yesterday evening, um, I was starting to wonder, I was starting to think that she was going to deliver based on like the pace she was going. I was starting to think she, because we had kind of anticipated her to deliver in like the evening, like five o'clock-ish time. And so when five o'clock came around, um, with how many, with how experienced she is, she is this is her third litter. Um, you know, like with Myra, it's more normal for a puppy to take a little bit longer. She's forking down the canal. It's the first time she's done it, and so her reaction is going to be a little slower. Um, whereas Robin, it's like when the puppy presents, if there's no problem and the puppy's a decent size, um, you know, it's pretty swift. Um, and Robin's first delivery, I think, was like 11 hours. Um, it's quite common for them to go an hour between puppies, and if they have eight puppies, you know, that can take... About 10 hours, if that, because usually they labor for a good two, three hours um, before that first puppy arrives. Um, like breaking the seal. If you went went to college or her, had your drinking days, it's that first puppy, it's like breaking the seal. Once When that pup, first puppy comes out, then the rest are coming. Um, it's like a matter of getting that first puppy out. And so last night at 11, that's... Um, that was what happened, and so we thought that she, we thought we were going to be delivering puppies up through about 9 o'clock this morning, um, and so when the first puppy finally delivered at 1230, um, which was the Blenheim girl, oh my gosh, you guys see how they're snuggling? Let me grab the phone and show you, because it's too cute for you not to see. So her first puppy came out at 12.30, and um, the second puppy was, second puppy was at 1, so with the first puppy born at 12.30, it usually takes us about 10 minutes to, like, dry them off and get everything clipped, and um, so the next puppy was born at 1, and they came about every 30 to 45 minutes after that, and so... Even when she had her third, when she hit like 45 minutes and she wasn't having many contractions, that's why I suggested Drew hop in bed and get some rest and I would watch her. Um, and then she ended up having her puppy about 15 minutes after that. So, um, and then that was where we, um, no, not 15 minutes, it was like seven. And so Drew didn't. She didn't miss that birth. He, he missed the black and tan, but oh, that, just that one. She's so pretty. I love her so much. This one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty.
I'm finding, I'm finding your milk. Mama's gonna help you out. Oh, Mama's gonna potty you. so sweet they're so strong that um the boy was already stealing nipples when <laughs> when um the rest were still delivering we i think we had one or two more and we um if you've watched us deliver puppies before you are familiar probably with how between puppies we are lining up all the other puppies to nurse so that to help kind of stimulate contractions and so we're lining up all the puppies to nurse and um um, big boy over here. We're, I was working on Blenheim, and big boy comes crawling through the bottom underneath the other guys. He comes crawling through, and his little head pops up right here and tries taking the nipple from little Blenheim girl. It was like hilarious. I don't think it was. It wasn't like when they're older, and he was just trying to take the actual nipple. Um, he was just he was just nosing for a spot, but it was really cute. They are nursing so well, I can't believe it. They just like, they just open their mouths and they open their mouths and it's like they throw out a little, a little like little feelers for nipples and they just like attach to them. Because if it's not the delivery that <laughs> robs us of sleep, it's more the, um, the nights with the newborn puppies, helping them nurse and helping them stay out, out from behind mom's back. Um, which, I mean, mom will, you'll see them kind of crawl behind mom's back. That's, they do that a lot. Um, it's warm back there. It's cozy. It's, you're guarded by mom. Um, it's a pretty good spot. Um, and so don't panic if you see any of them crawl back there. Um, they're all good enough size that they are real, they're real strong. They can wiggle and worm their ways. Um, they kind of nose their, when I say nose, I'm using that as like a verb. Um, they take their noses because they don't have any sight or hearing. They take their noses and they kind of use their noses to feel out their environment. And so while they're feeling it out, they're also sniffing. And so they, um, if mom lays on them, they start feeling out their environment and they start looking for pockets of air. And so, um, you know, and this is, so this is her uterus right here. I don't know if you can see this lump. It's hard. Every pregnancy, we're always feeling this, every delivery. And we're like, is there another puppy in there? Um, this is her uterus all contracted down. Um, if you've had a baby, you probably remember the nurses massaging your uterus into a tight little ball until it was contracting and making you wish you never gave birth. Um, that's what her uterus is doing right now. It's just keep staying contracted and closing up the, the wounds from the placentas. Um, in Remy's case, um, there actually was another puppy. Or no, I'm sorry, in Myra's case. In Myra's case, we were feeling for this lump. And we weren't sure if it was the lump or if it was another puppy. And... Um, the way she's built, it was really hard to tell. She was a real athletic build, and it was hard to tell because, you know, the uterus, when, when it's clamping down after all the puppies are delivered, it's not a lot smaller than if there's one puppy, one puppy in there and she's having a contraction to push the puppy out. So, um, it can be difficult to decipher if this is a contracting uterus with a puppy in it, or if it's just a contracting uterus to... To start healing like now it's now it's soft now the lump is gone so I think that it's just her uterus contracting that was just a little contraction but I would feel we would feel puppy um, when the contraction stops and so that's how we know it's not a, or not a puppy We really thought we were going to have more Blenheims, to be honest. All these tricolors have blown me away. Um, C 
six is a good number though. Drew and I were a little, we were a little concerned about having many more than that because of all of, of the litters we've had, um, we've had a couple of seven puppy litters. Um, we had, I think we have had two, or we, I'm sorry, we've had three eight puppy litters, but in every single situation, we lost at least one puppy. Um, and so Drew and I, we were a little nervous about having too big of a litter because it would be best for all of the litters, all the puppies, all the moms to, um, I want to give credit to the right person who worded it this way. Um, I can't remember if it was Kelsey or if it was Nisho, but they suggest, they said that, um, you know, when they have big litters, like eight or nine, they will, there will be a, you know, often a sickly puppy who doesn't make it as nature's way of balancing the litter size because a typical cavalier litter size is between four and five puppies. It's pretty small. Um, and that's including stillbirths, um, runt puppies that don't make it. Um, because we have, a, we have a book that has statistics and the average, um, puppy count for a litter is four to five for a cavalier, but then the average registered, um, puppy, puppy, or uh, the registered litter count, um, with the breed clubs, um, by the breeders, the average is three to four. And so what that tells us is that the average is that one passes away in between delivery and registering the litter. Because um, when you register a litter, you have to tell them how many boys and how many girls. And so they have records of how many puppies. Um, so, um, it's a blessing if she has more than five and we don't lose any. Any that we lose, or we, any that we have beyond five, they're all blessings because um, they start, once you hit six, it's like they're, they start maxing out on... Um, they just run very thin with milk. Missy had a litter of eight a couple years ago, and um, it ended up being a litter of seven. One passed away at around two weeks old. Um, but she, the milk just, um, she just didn't have enough milk to go around. They're con they are constantly feeding. When they have um, ten nipples, you know, most of the puppies want seconds. They'll They'll drink from one really until it's about out and then they want to go to another one just to kind of like top off and fall asleep too. And so when you have eight puppies, you don't have enough nipples to do all of that. And so you'll have a couple puppies that are able to find something to top off with, but then the others usually get kind of fussy and um, they don't really like it. And so with litter of six, it just works out a lot better. There's much more to go around. See how they, is this how they wiggle and worm themselves out of, out of tight spaces. I'm gonna go check on Stasha's family before they, I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye.
oven. Don't worry. Don't worry. We don't let them in. You know that. We don't let them in. We don't let them in. Daddy, take care of it. Look at those pretty babies. You are such a good girl. You are, you're such a good girl. <laughs> While we have the heating pad under here, you'll notice that the puppies will kind of spread out a little bit more as opposed to making a puppy pile. Um, and that's just because they're seeking out the heat and then, and then he usually puts them to sleep while they're crawling. Like this little girl. So much of when I wake up from, from midnight. Like at two o'clock, yeah, from midnight to now, yeah. And it's, so it's, it's like I'm kind of shaky and nauseous and. Is this? Who's this? Um, that was um, uh, that was the gift from. Yeah, um, uh, Amber said there's something in the mailbox. I'm sending Drew out to the mailbox right now.
catalog, and I'm like, oh, here's my Amazon catalog. They even gave us stickers to give to the kids. If this isn't bribery for business, I don't know what is. Look at that. You look at the toy section and then there's stickers. Oh my gosh, the Amazon really is bribing you. <laughs> yeah, oh, trying to get the kids to. It looks like a Toy R Us catalog. If you still look. Oh, it does. It does look it like it. It looks like a Toys R Us catalog. Like the, the Christmas catalog. Yeah, because, you know, for Christmas, people buy more than toys. They buy AirPods and <laughs> huh. Apple. Wow, so they're smart. I like those. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, dokie. It looks like... So, Amber would like... This is a gift from Amber and... Um, and her dad. And her dad. No, the whole Ooh. Andrews family. Aw, thank you, guys. Wow, let's see here. Let's sit down. Oh, you almost look. Forgive our messy oh, forgive our bedroom. House, oh, guys. We just wanted to get the live up. I just wanted to make it through the day. <laughs> <laughs> Alive. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Let's see. Ooh. It feels soft. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know these colors. Ooh, that looks so soft. It is so soft. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, so nice. That is so nice. Oh, this is awesome. Is this Chicago Bears? Oh my God, it says my name. Oh, <laughs> it's that's so cool. So cool. I love it. Oh, 20, oh. 29. Oh, let me for show them. Matthew's birthday. <gasps> oh, yeah. you guys. Yeah. I love that it. That oh is my amazing. God. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That was. I, I, you guys are so incredible. I love how do this. You, how do you come up with such. Because no one ever gets warming yeah, gifts. No one ever gets me blankets. I, I mean, I know all the blankets are always are always for, for you. Me. Yeah, but I love it. Established in Chicago football suits, and I do love the Bears, even though they're not very good these days. <laughs> they were good in 1989. <laughs> yeah, exactly, they were. But this is awesome. I love oh, it. Oh, I love it. It's oh, oh. I love the 29. Oh, I know. Well, the 29. I know. The 29 with the Drew. Oh. Was that on purpose? Did you get to like choose the number? I'm curious. We're waiting for oh, yeah, <laughs> we're like, right, right. waiting for somebody to say yes or no. Yes or, yes or no. Yeah, I know. Oh, I love it though, because because if it was you did choose it, you, if you chose a number, you chose that's a really Matthew's special one. That's the day of Matthew's birthday. Yeah, that's yeah. for anybody who doesn't know. Twenty nine is very special to us. Um, that's why we're excited about um, Remy delivering on the 29th of September because that was his birthday. That was that would have been Matthew's eighth birthday, the 29th of yeah. September this year. So um, oh. it was a tough day. That was nice to have, have positive. Puppies. Yeah. Have puppies. That is so awesome. Way to go. That was a really, really yeah. awesome Aww. gift. Amber's dad, if you're watching, that was yeah. really awesome. It was. Amber it was told me nice. that this was um, her dad. Aww. Her dad's doing so. Thank you so much, guys. Aww. And what's crazy is that you you guys live in Wisconsin. They did choose the numbers. They did choose. Aww. I love it. Thank you so much. You chose the right numbers. Wow. Aww. Aww. I'm gonna cry. It's like a Drew jersey. It's it's not like um when you guys told me it was a Chicago Bears blanket, I I pictured just like a generic Bears, Bears thing. Blanket. I didn't realize that it was like a, a Drew jersey with the number yeah. on it. Uh, oh not jersey, it's a helmet. It's a helmet, but yeah, that's oh man. You guys are so thoughtful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna sleep with it tonight. And it's not like heavy. It's yeah, it's not heavy. But that's the biggest thing. I, I he hate, hates heavy blankets. Hate heavy blankets. Hate them. This is perfect though. Oh, it's very soft too. <laughs> <laughs> For my scraggly beard. Oh, thank you, yeah, Andrews. Really nice. To the Andrews, thank you so so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so I never excited. thought about that. <laughs> yeah, the Andrews. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it really was meant to be meeting them. It was. It was. I do. I love it. I love it so much. I love it. You guys, I'm sure a lot of people want to see puppies again, so I'm going to bring this back to puppies, but um, a, we're no, still, Amber, no. we are still um, admiring it, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, 
Sure, and a when, um, brand new puppies. just so you know, Amber, when, even though I didn't have an opportunity to use it, I set it up and got it all ready so that in between puppies, I would be able to put on your little eye mask and have a nice little doze because it put me to sleep the other day. Um, I didn't have an opportunity because she was delivered so quickly, but that was my plan. And so next <laughs> time we have a mom in labor in the middle of the night, that's what I'm going to do. Cause that thing it like puts me to sleep without realizing it. And so it feels like a really refreshing I don't know, it, it's great uh, it sounds like it's giving you it's almost like um uh what's it called she's always come on uh meditating like it like is medita kind of like that because you, you like it's hard to not focus on all on the, the the rhythm of the of the, the rubbing the, yeah it's you focus on that so much that it does it's like hmm. it's like it, breathing through labor right it clears your thoughts yeah it's really all you think about and then it won't oh so nice Hey there, Kelsey. Yes, we have a black and tan, and you gotta see her. If you haven't seen her yet, you gotta see her. She's so pretty. Mm. I think Drew should rehome Mocha. Oh, geez. I couldn't do that. There she is. She's got a little tiny place. And then, look at that. How pretty is she? We're not in the business of making the perfect colored cavaliers. We love all of their little mismarkings because it just makes them so much cuter. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can't believe it because it, I really think that. It's not a tricolor. It's I, black and tan with white mismarkings. I know. That's what's crazy is like, I guess that is what you have to call it. I knew it, we were going to have this discussion. I, yeah, we were going to have this, this discussion because she's. She always thinks of black and tan when it has um, the white mismarkings. He's like, no, this is a tricolor. This is a tricolor. You are so cute. No, though. genetically, okay. that's a black and tan. Look at that. 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 Oh my gosh, you're so stinking cute. Arr. And then... Um, you know who really reminds me of? She has the same face as Tux. Oh, if you were to put that yeah. belly on her, she would look just like Tux. You're right, she would. Because he had the blaze that right. was the width of his nose. Yeah. Went straight up like a rectangle, that's how you call him Tux. And so that's who she's reminding me of. Looks like her milk came in. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, um, do you want to do? You want me to grab the stuff to do a pop shot? I don't yeah. know why. I just have this like nagging That's feeling. Fine. Yeah. Oh, and I did. I think I figured out what all is going on with that and why it is the way it is. When it's lumpy, when it's a rock like that, uh -huh. is when our uterus is contracting with no puppies in it, and that's why then we would feel it and it would get beyond anything because then it's not contracting, uh -oh. and so it's just relaxed. And then when it contracts again, it's balled up. But if there was a puppy in there, then we would see like it form around the puppy. Form it right. And so when it looks like it, there's two puppies on that last one, it's just because she's contracting around that big that puppy. So that's what I think is going on. That's my theory. It's just. Uh, Yeah, no, that 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 makes sense to me. Oh, who's stuck? <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy mackerel, dude! You not only are you, are you the biggest of the litter, but you're gonna be the hog on the nipple. He was. I was sharing with them that he was uh, nipple stealing during the night last night. <laughs> so I was trying to latch her, or I was latching her on. This nipple, maybe it's this nipple. Yeah. I was getting her on this nipple. Two other puppies were here, and so I'm where you are, and he is over here. I'm latching her here. Yeah. So we're working on it, and mm -hmm. then I all of a sudden I don't know where there's two puppies right here, and his head just boom, <laughs> <laughs> like and he's point. like nosing for the nipple. <laughs> and so I was like, "Yep, over there." He's a little, little nipple stealer, huh? And then... She was not so good at nursing at first, and so. Um, I was a little concerned just with um oh crap all the dogs are outside and they just got home oh shoot well they all kind of it's easier for them to be picked up that or dropped off than picked up. hey remy what's up oh and if you guys haven't heard remy and myra are um 
quickly becoming fast friends, sharing their puppies with each other. It's really, really, really sweet. They don't, they're not like territorial of them anymore. They're not crabby with each other. They can be by each other now. Right, girls? Hey, girl, you're gonna go me. What's up? What's up? You need to go potty? You need to go take a potty? Are you jealous of those new puppies? No. I'm just gonna grab what? Just want to go over there. Can you see? Yeah, there's more puppies. There's more puppies than us. It's not better for them to be you know, dropped off. There's dogs chasing the bus.
Social studies formative on oh. that. And how'd you do? Uh, I got a four. <gasps> you did! And then I got my science formative and summative back, and I got two fours. Two fours. Oh! And he said, this absolutely phenomenal work, this is a perfect writing example. The only thing he underlined was something that kind of contradicted itself that I didn't like didn't realize really back. When I was writing it, see how much I wrote, and then there's... Wow, good job, sweetie. Yep. And I got a shout-out. Mr. Steve does shout-outs mm -hmm. for people that do really good. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the three people that got, or I was actually the only person that, that got a shout-out for both of these. He only shouts out three people per, like, assignment. Oh, and so you got both spots. Yep. He wasn't like, oh, I got her for that one, so I get someone else for this one. Yeah. So I got five fours today. Good job, sweetie. Yay. Yeah. yeah. What, what, a little bit of one on your science? Well, I looked at my social studies formative, uh -huh. and it was great, and I got a four. Uh -huh. I knew how hard she'd been trying for us. Yeah, right. I got a... Got my science formative back. Two fours. Nice. And then the super hard ones. Yeah. Right, yeah. Super yeah, hard yeah. it's the exceeding thing. She's got like level. she had like two or three fours. Like she had really difficult time getting fours last year. And then I got two fours for my summative. Nice. Way to go, Mayday. We were talking about how teachers like rarely hand those out because there's almost always room for improvement. You know? Right, exactly. See, I told you, I know you were really stressed out about your science one, but you did great. Yeah, um, didn't we tell you? <laughs> and he said he circled a lot of people's things, like, a lot, but there's not a single no circle on yeah. any of That's why you have the four. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he also, he also said, just absolutely phenomenal work. This is a perfect red example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is really, like, Limited. no better compliment, sweetie, than... Yeah. Then the teacher before who asked to use yours for next year example. Yeah. And then something like that. That's Ooh. and that hey. Mr. Steve likes doing shout outs and he does like he picks like three of the best He um, recognizes like the three top students for his like Yeah. Oh and I got recognized for both my formative and my summative. Nice. Man. Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting because so the, it, the masses get out at three, and right. so like a lot of teachers look at that and be like, okay, she got a shot for that one, right. so I'm gonna give it another person. It's another, yeah, to another one, but yeah, yeah. she. Uh, but you got the the compliment or the shout out on the, on both. So the, for yeah. like shout outs, does he like just say uh, so for the shout outs for this assignment? It's so the like why? It's like um, it's he doesn't say. So he says uh. That he he go, he says like um not like something about uh, going over shoutouts and then he says the names and um then he gives a brief description of why like um, most concise or most I got most concise for my uh formative. <laughs> you know what concise is also means? He's just, he's summing up in one word a lot of things. He's summing up that you were thorough, yeah. you, it was well researched. He's summing up when yeah. somebody says concise, that means a lot of things. That's a really good. Yeah, remember, did I tell you that that's what they want? Detail. Concise. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, so. this is the only thing that he underlined, and it was because it contradicted itself. Absorbing all its energy, resist the barrier. Oh. Uh, I didn't realize that at the time, but I, I kind of like switched yeah, the topics wording. in my brain yeah. without without spacing it out. <laughs> yeah, 
the robin i so i retitled the robin and having a puppy stream oh i should change up the thumbnail too but i retitled it to robin robin had her puppies, her, her robin had her puppies. Good job, sweetheart. So you got you got A pluses on everything, basically. Yep. Oh. And I don't have a single two in Skyward. I think I have to show you. I think at least mm -hmm. half of my grades are fours. That's the high honor roll, isn't it? No, no twos at all. No twos at all yeah. is high honor roll. I only, I have an X, but that won't count because it was something that I wasn't there for and I can't make it up since it's a princess. Uh, and it's also uh, in agriculture, so um, since it's only, at least Mr. Jordan said, I'm really hoping uh, that all the, it's the core classes that matter, it's not the, they don't count the, John May, where did it go, sweetheart? Until the IRS gets their hands on Apple Cash <laughs> for the cert text and that. Apple Cash is like the most convenient thing. Uh, you know what's funny too? I was watching on my YouTube people and he was at, uh, for servers and he was talking about how your phone. He makes it compared to an RFID chip. <laughs> right. He's like, many people don't realize this, but your phone is recording everything you do. Everything. If not more than an RFID, than a chip could do. Chicken is just like something that I'm not going to watch because I'm excited. 
Oh, yeah, I remember you saying that. What's well, that? I remember you saying that. So type A personality. <laughs> and 48.8% of our employees. I love you so much. You were like, you were such. No, 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 no I love you so much. I'm so glad I can't. I love you so much. See, like, one more form than. You were this the same way when you were a year and a half old. Really? Your toys, like, so I would, um, like, let's take your birthday as an example. You would unwrap your presents open your toys, but like, if there was a doll set that had a bunch of pieces, like 23 piece doll set includes all this stuff, all of that, like if I tried to take some piece and use it with another toy, oh no, 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 that was bad, <laughs> because that belonged with that toy set, it does not belong with the other set, and everything when you're done playing with it had to go back to the same spot, <laughs> and you've That's always, right, though. you have always been that way, even when you were a year and a half old. It's because it doesn't matter. No way I would believe me too. When I talk about how you always had to put your crayons away, you always put your markers back in the box. Nobody ever believed me. No one dad met you. It's because it bothers me if something is out of its place. Yes, it always it has. bothers you it bothers you as a toddler. But it's look just at so that. funny to see. More than half of my so grades are fours. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, sweetie. So I have it for you. Thanks. <laughs> you've been fine. You've been. Remember, I said don't set goals that are unrealistic, and you've done so well. What are goals that are unrealistic? Well, well, it's only you can judge that. That's why I left that up to you. But you know what is kind of. You should have an idea of what. I mean, you know what I mean, where you can tell if something's going to be kind of too out of reach. You want it to be kind of challenging, but not too challenging that it discourages you and you want to give up. Well, I think a goal that's too far would be off course. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, but that X is really bothering me. I need, I need some more to fix it. X? Um, it's an X because um, it's 
like a pretest for something, and we were in the middle of switching agriculture and technology, mm. so I wasn't there mm. for it, and so you can't really make it up since it's a pretest. So, yeah. Huh. What that X does mean is it means he's not giving you a zero for it. It means he's not counting it at all. Or he's oh, yeah. not counting it at all. Miss, um, so it's, the X isn't necessarily man, isn't necessarily bad. It just means, like, forget about this assignment. We're not going to include it. Yeah, Miss Bear put a note in that said uh, doesn't count. And she also checked with Mr. Jones. And he said that it's all uh, encore classes don't count. Cause like, I, that makes sense. Cause like, if you, cause uh, if you had, if the encore classes uh, counted, then then they'd be grading your P, they'd be using your, your PD grades, hmm. and that's not really. I don't think that's right. Yeah. yeah. I am really proud of you, sweetie. Thank you. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. You come really far. I was kind of expecting to get like ones, twos, and threes, not really fours, but I mean, so far, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can stay like that, but in math, I probably won't, because only for like, you guys are, uh, when we move on to stuff that I didn't really get a chance to do in 7th grade, mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to need a lot of help from you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think coming up here soon in this kinetic and potential energy, I can understand it, but when we go into the actual stuff, instead of just learning about what it is, I might need help. It's I think it's pretty easy to remember that potential energy is just energy not being used. Mm -hmm. Like is actively like that is really really good with that stuff. Really good. But eventually we're gonna get into the stuff that I can't even imagine right now. Yeah, don't worry about it because it all will build on this stuff. And so once you understand this stuff, it'll be so much easier. Oh, yeah. So don't worry. Don't be spending anything by the other stuff. I have no. Clue. Aren't you good at energy stuff? Kinetic energy versus yeah, that's all I So she was just saying that she's gonna need help with some of that. It's coming up, and she missed it in seventh grade. Uh, and I told her you're really good at that. And so huh? she's like, I think I understand that, I think but I'm gonna need help in math too. I'm I'm gonna need a lot of help with that. I think English I'm gonna be fine though, because you don't really learn any anything useful in English. <laughs> all you do is read in English. You learned everything you need to know about the English language here. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> it's talking about just their words. And oh. Anatomically correct. <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, anatomically correct vocabulary. Well, but I'm all she's teaching us. You guys is could be a diction or like a reference book for puberty. Huh. <laughs> she all she's teaching us is Latin and Greek root words and stuff. Like we're not gonna use that. Like why why are we gonna learn that? We have a summary of on it. I I'm it's due tomorrow. And she's teaching us, she's teaching us about what pronouns are, and not like, yeah. like, just regular pronouns. Use the proper use of. Yeah, proper use of pronouns, and, and what common, collective, all the, oh, all yeah, the different words in there. So that stuff, that was difficult for me too, just because I was just kind of like, they're all just words. Like, I had, I knew the basics, like, nouns, verbs, but I had trouble when they would put out this really difficult sentence that had all kinds of, like, things, all different adverbs, all these different yeah. words, and you'd have to identify them. I didn't do so well with that. It, yeah, I think I'm not doing, I feel like I'm not, I'm doing okay on it, but I don't know how I got a three when I got, like, ten questions wrong on one of my forms. But we'll, I'll take the three. Maybe everybody was doing poorly in charge. Some teachers were curved things. Yeah. And to balance out basically the idea is that 
if all the students are do do not doing well in this assignment, then I must have screwed something up in the way I presented it, presented the material. And so teachers who do curves, that's usually their, their logic is that they, did, they must not have done something well in presenting the material. Yeah, I got like seven, it was, they were all on the front page whole bunch of questions wrong, but it was because I included a a word that was in all this, because the sentence structure was the same, mm -hmm. um, but there were just different words, and I thought that this one word that was, or this one specific type of word that was in all of them was part of what I was supposed to be circling, wasn't, so I got all those wrong. Oh, man. Yeah, and oh. I still got first name. Their pickup, I don't think, will take very long because we've talked about so much with each visit. Yeah. We've gone over so many things that I don't think there will be as much to go over with them. Yeah. Okay. I just feel bad for Sasha's family because we had to kind of rush them, and so I just feel really bad. Look at uh, what Amber sent. Amber's family sent Dad. Amber Andrews. Oh. So that's a Bears thing. It's got my name on the bottom. Oh, it does. But look at the number. Do you know what's special about? Remember what's special about her name? Matthew. Yeah, it's his birthday. His birthday. They uh, chose. They did that on purpose. Oh. That's sweet. I w I knew there was something like a connection because the nine reminds me of him, uh -huh. and like the two reminds me of him too. But I didn't. I'm not quite sure where how. Well, and also nine is his month. Oh yeah, 929. 929. I love his birthday because of that, 929. Your birthday, 27, is your dad's, um, it was your dad's hockey jersey. Oh. Uh, um. But it's 0207. Hey, Andrews. Um, Andrews family. I, yeah, Andrews family. I have a question. Did you guys pick up on the Bears thing because you've seen me in that one Bears shirt that I have? It's like a pajama his, shirt. His Bears pajama outfit. Yeah, the Bears, Bears pants. Yeah, I got a Bear Bears shorts and a, a Bears shirt that I wear together. I just, well, I courtesy just, of yours truly. Yeah, courtesy of Elizabeth. That was like. When we met, he was not from Illinois, and so I had to kind of like. I baptized him into all of the things that were in Illinois, like the Bears, the Cubs, the, the Cubs. all those the Illinois stuff. Portillos. Portillos. <laughs> and all that, but with you guys being Scooters. in Wisconsin, with you guys being in Wisconsin, I'm sure it was very difficult for you to purchase <laughs> this because everything up there is just uh, yellow and green. Packers. Yeah, Packers, Wisconsin. The Green Bay Packers. Oh, just so you know, Amazon's Christmas Carol one is here. Ooh, you're making me feel like a kid again. Well, I was like, wow, if this isn't advertising for kids, look at this. Free sticker, kids, if you can use your mom to shop from Amazon. Yeah. Like, it's really getting the kids, looks like they want to look at Transformers and Dinosaurs. But the whole thing, there's, it's not like, um, it's all, it's not all little kid stuff, but it's all, like, um, Christmas stuff. You know, there's stuff that's not toys, but there's stuff that's, um, it's not all little kids. There's, like, electronics and stuff. I remember going to the electronics page and wanting all of it because it looked so cool to me, so high-tech. Yeah. Um, and so I'd circle, like, all of it. Uh, not thinking about the fact that I was going to use it or not. That's what, um, and I knew that when yeah, I would cool. look at your circles, I would, I would look at them and kind of be like, okay, it's just you looking, because you were young still. Um, I would, I would be able to tell if it's like something that just looked cool or if it's something that you actually wanted. Yeah. The product, so. But, I know you. I know you. 
now that I'm older, all that doesn't seem so amusing now. Or not, it doesn't seem so, like... same photos as that come out, those little cameras we got, the little girl Polaroids. Yeah. It's those photos. So. Yeah, at my dad, I, um, I really don't have prices in here. I got these LED strings with clips for photos. Um, yeah. And I also want photos to put in Liam Harris's album, but we mm -hmm. can't because we don't have like a printer with ink. much smaller. Ours is way better. That's cool. I would have gotten that for you when you were little. Oh yeah. That's the type of thing I wanted. You would have, yeah. You would have been all or over that. that. Or yep. That. In on that. That looks fun. Look for Bella like a little witch. Yeah. Why do they have the Christmas catalog already? I remember last year we did it. Mid-October. Mid -off they, they want us to have it like Halloween is ending. Really? Yeah. This is a pretty standard time. That's that's why usually when we start looking at Christmas stuff, we can't find the catalogs because they were mailed to us in mid October. Oh. They should do it like mid November. Yeah, that's too late. I usually get all my Christmas shopping done before Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, most of it. I get the stuff done that I am pretty sure you get, that isn't going to change. Yeah, I, I hear. I, is this something you would Christmas want? Time, I always, I always hear Scented? Mm, no. No? Are you over this? I kind of. Okay. It fell off. Yeah. Okay. Mm, it's alright. Mm -hmm. But there you go. I'll let you have it first since first. once Bella gets it, she's going to, you know, circle everything. So it'll be easier to. For you to actually like read everything, she's just gonna look at pictures like you did. Yeah, you remember what that was like. <laughs> whatever, whatever, just circle looks, all of it. Whatever was advertised well, just circle it. Even if and that's why they put the stickers in the middle. Yep. <laughs> oh boy, Bella. I remember just going through this and then being sad when it was over, so I. Uh, I'd flip back through it again, hoping there'd be new, more interesting <laughs> stuff in there. See something that you missed? Hey, you don't say that you hate your brother or your sister or your mom or dad. Don't go for it. I didn't say that. I hope you say it. I heard you say I hate you, so I hope you say it.
They're over on the stairs. What? They're over on the stairs. I'm going to turn the lights down a little bit for our mamas. Try to step quietly, sweetie pie. Bella, don't forget we got newborn babies in here. Shh, shh. Bella, don't forget we got newborn babies in here so we can be quiet, okay? May. Listen, May. She, I think she's using the bathroom, but she's going to be in the kitchen because she's going to have a snack. grabbed another one after I ate the wafers, it was too much sugar. Yeah. So I grabbed another beef stick and actually... That the whole thing up. Yeah, I really did. The salt is like really, really awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it tastes salt, really good. Yeah, it's salty and the fatty. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's so good. And it's like our bodies just needing fuel. Yeah. Um, I was going to place an order for pizza at 5 o'clock though. Yeah, I took May. We were doing pizza for Don't think I'm gonna do the meat lovers one again because it's like no one ever really eats it and then there's a lot left over. So I was thinking of doing a mushroom and something more else. Um, I really like the mushroom and cheese one, so if the kids are good with that. I also like the pepperoni one. Yeah, yeah, pepperoni pizza. Yeah. I don't know, at least for me, I think that. Lovers on it's just too much stuff. It's too much meat, yeah. They, they it just do. feels like a um it just feels like a bowl of meat chunks. <laughs> yeah, with some with some tomato sauce underneath with a a, a bread bowl. Yeah. They look oh. like they are three weeks old. Yeah, because they're growing almost exponentially. Because like as each day passes, they get another week old. <laughs> yeah, I know they're gonna be enormous. They, they look like three week old puppies. They look like they're almost ready to go out. I know. Yeah, they, yeah, that's what it looks like. Except their eyes are still sealed. Yeah, like they look like they should be up on their feet. Up on their feet, eyes open. I bet they open their eyes kind of early. I think she, cause she delivered closer to the 63 days, um, and I mean, so did Robin, but I think her dates was a little more off. Right.
I don't, think that, I, don't, I don't know if that's what happened with her. I'm saying that's the scheme I've heard about. If you guys are listening out there in YouTube world, I think we understand. You know, you wanna, maybe you want to go with a, a breeder that's closer to you or something like that. Just, uh, just be, be careful because there are people that Things can be too good to be true, don't forget. Yeah, so just be careful. We do not take it personally if you decide to go with someone else. You just, we, I, I would hate to hear like someone who contacted us and then they comment like this, this woman, if she were to have gotten scammed. That's, that sucks. Looks like Robin's milk came in. Yeah. Oh. I got some good video last night. Yeah. I wish I had more births, but I only had you know, a lot of gloves, so it's difficult.
his name is Cooper, and so and I'm typing his name is autocorrecting to Scooper, <laughs> and so if we have a Cooper, I'm gonna start calling him Cooper Scooper. <laughs> Cooper Scooper. <laughs> <laughs> they had a Cooper, and I don't, I don't know if they ever made that. I don't know how we didn't connect that as a yeah. And so she's carrying seven last time too, with Mr. Orange being, or no, she's carrying eight with Mr. Orange and Mr. Brown. Yeah, and she won. Yeah, she lost the two. She lost the one initially. Right, right away. Her belly's bigger this time. It's because they were so big. Which, I'll bet their size a little bit more genetic predisposition, macchiato. Because they grew so big with the tight belly. And with Remy's, it's kind of hard to tell because they have so much room. With how they're growing now. They yeah. Be a little bit bigger. I think, uh, yeah, I think that I've it. Where did their vitamins go? Mm -hmm. We have more coming soon. Uh, you're up and panting, so are you contracting? So bad, we didn't That's right, Pop's going to come out in It's right here above the the uh, little black area. 
like a tan girl. I feel it. It's too soft for there to be a puppy in there. <clears throat> oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to take you over to the other puppies again. Uh, I'm sure we've got some other people on that didn't see the other puppies earlier. And Remy's coming in, so you guys can see. Oh, wait, no, it's Myra. Myra, Myra. Remy is so precious whenever we approach her. She starts wagging her tail like crazy, and she'll roll over into her back for a belly rub, and she just she doesn't even care about her puppies when we come into the pool. She just starts wagging her tail. She's so sweet, but I'm going to take you guys over so you can see her and her babies. Did you, did you feel that? I did. Um, I don't think there's a puppy in there. Okay. Because I, I felt it like along the yeah. the horns, and I just, I guess they're some, softer. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You can go potty. You want to go outside go potty? Oh, guys, uh, we didn't share the first delivery, so we oh, had those God. two bags hanging out, right? And we were like, oh, God, here's a Myra situation all over again. And um, she climbed out of the pool, go, went over to the door like she has to go potty. And sometimes, like, Daisy will do that. She gets confused when she feels that first push that she's got to poop. And so Drew took her outside with a flashlight and everything. We never take them out unescorted like that. Yeah. And, um, like, two minutes later, the pounding on the door, and, um, Drew brings her in, and the puppy is, like, hanging, hanging from her. Yeah, so I was... And that uh, was this, this little girl. Yeah. So she, she went outside, and she, like, did the whole kind of squat, and she went pee, and I saw her do it, and I was like, oh, okay. And then she started, like, walking around some more, and then she, like, braced like she was going to poop, and I was sitting there watching her, and then all of a sudden, pop, like, just like with Myra, like, right. the, or it's like they just pop out, and then they they're just, in the bag. Yeah, the bag. Yeah. It's like the bag comes a millisecond before the puppy does, the bag yeah. shoots out, and then the puppy goes into the bag and, with the water, like a water slide. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is what it looks like, like, a, a puppy getting popped into a water balloon, but, um... And so I rush over to her and pick her up, and I'm I'm cradling the 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 puppy in my left hand, and then I'd scoop her up in my right, and then I go back up up to the uh, the door and um, basically kicks the door in. Yeah, get the uh, door open, and then come in here, and and like by that time, she like she was ready, like she wanted to be settled her she lay, wanted lay back down. to the pool yeah she wanted back to the pool and laid down so that she could get the rest of the puppy out you're so silly i'm gonna take you guys over to myra's puppies i think i want to try and take her outside okay just to go by and stuff so i'm gonna bring her back over so she might talk to this water come on let's go teddy come on let's go teddy where's myra there's one of her blue merles this, the, I think this is the boy. There's the boy. The boy blue Merle. Myra's puppies are much smaller than Robin's. Well, I shouldn't say much smaller. They're still like about 200 grams. They're, they're close to the same weight, but their bodies are smaller. And so I think that they, mo they have the athletic build that Myra has. And so even though they're like a little bit heavier, they're still really compact. With Spike. Yeah, with Spike. Yeah, he is very athletic. He's so muscular. Hey, sweet thing. Let me turn on this hall light so you guys can see better. Hi, sweet baby. This little girl's got a heart right here. We're going to, hi there, sorry, I still haven't showered or done makeup or anything. Now we are, here's Remy. 
we're in our closet now, so <laughs> you see in this new room, she's so excited to have visitors. You're such a good girl. <laughs> You're such a good girl, Remy. You gotta adjust your collars already. It's hard to believe these guys are only five days old. This is her boy, one of her boys. I think he's a boy. Yep, that's the boy. This is her Blenheim girl. Oh, she's so pretty. She's got a pretty thumbprint. And then her black and tans are cozied up over here. How precious. That's the little girl's face that you're looking at right there. Of the black and tans. Um, oops. This one's the girl. And this one's the boy. It's okay. Look at that. Who's a good mama? How beautiful are her babies? <laughs> She's like, they are beautiful. Who's a good girl, Remy dog? Who's a good girl? Remy's a good girl. Remy's a good girl. Myra's coming to say hello. <laughs> Look at her hair on her head. Talk about doggy bedhead. She and Myra are getting along so well when, like when Myra comes running up in here, Remy starts wagging her tail like she does when, when she sees us. Um, the first couple of days she was much more protective, but after Myra had her puppies, it's kind of like Myra joined the mama club, and so now Remy is, Remy's gotten better about Myra. And so the black and tan of Robins has a lot more white on her. Black and tans are, um, the, the correct coat coloring is for them to be all black with the, the brown in all the appropriate spots. So like the eyebrows, the cheeks, legs and feet, the tail, undersides of their bellies. Um, but a lot of times they'll have white mismarkings and those are commonly on their chests, um, undersides of their necks, sometimes um, under their tails. I'm really surprised. Remy's black and tans are very, very, they're very close to, um, their markings are really close to breed standard. And, um, I mean, if you followed us at all, you know that we don't, we don't breed our dogs for appearance. Um, when we choose our moms and dads, you know, it's, it's something that we keep in mind, but it's not our priority. Our priority is their disposition and health and temperament. Um, and so it's just kind of cool when we either get a puppy who has a really unique, interesting Marking that's not supposed to be there, like our black and tan girl from Robin. She's got a small little white blaze on her face and a couple patches of white on her back. It's so cute. Um, but like Daisy, one of her moms, she's got freckles on her face, and so that's that's a real big no-no um, per AKC. And so that's with Daisy. That was one reason that um, we were we were offered her by the breeder was because. She didn't, um, she did not meet the AKC guidelines very well for, um, markings. But that's something that the breeders are able to tell us right off the bat, um, based on markings. And so, with, like, which puppies they're not going to be able to keep or don't want to keep. Uh, markings is one of the first things that they're able to kind of determine. And so then they, t they tell us, basically, 
And these are the puppies we're not going to keep that you can choose from. And so Daisy was an option. So you can see his the white on his chest. He's got very little white. Um, and then usually you'll see it like under their tails, but they don't have it on their tails either. Or like on their booties. Sorry, I'm gonna stop moving this around so much. There's the babies. Can you clear him? Remy is such a good mama. Blenheim girl over here, she's always eating. Whenever I come in here, she's eating. I can't believe we got to loosen these collars already. Man, the Lunars was tight. Or I'm sure, or sorry, it was really loose when I first put it on and he's already grown into it. You guys are so big. <laughs> this is the size we usually see them at when they're about two weeks old. They're usually the size when they're opening their eyes. Hey there, Fiorella! How are you? Happy Thursday to you. One more day of the week. Before the weekend. Aww. We are too. They are all so sweet. And they're beautiful. We're gonna go back to, go back to Myra. Oh, Fiorella, I'm sorry you had such a long night. I hope your son is feeling better. Those nights are really, really rough. <laughs> Aww. Well, tell your son we hope he's feeling better. Hopefully he got the day off of school. I agree, Kathy. Isn't she just beautiful? That Blenheim in Remy's litter, she is, she's got like the perfect amount of chestnut. Robin's Blenheim girl, um, Bella pointed this out this morning, um, <laughs> which was, I was so proud of her because she's only five, but, um, we showed the Blenheim girl to her and she says, hey mom, she looks like the Robin baby, um, Robin when she was a puppy because her markings, um, are very, very similar to Robin's. If you look at Robin's, if you can kind of picture her markings, her chestnut just a little bit smaller. Um, I think this little girl has a little bit more chestnut than Robin does. But they're, she's going to look a lot like her mama. She does have a good eye. <laughs> You're a good girl, Robin. Oh, here's that black and tan. So, like, there's, this is the white that she's not supposed to have, technically. 
And then her blaze. I've never seen a black and tan with a blaze. I love it. The blaze probably won't be there when she's an adult. It will probably disappear. Um, it, the black will narrow in. But there might be a little remnant of it. I'll show you the white on her chest. So like the other black and tans, they had very little white on their chests. And they didn't have any on their necks. And so that's kind of what it looks like when, when they have the white. And then a lot of times under the tail. Let's check your tail. Oh, not under the tail. Oh, she's so pretty. And this ruby girl is so gorgeous. The little tip on her tail, it's big enough that it's not, it should be there as an adult. This right there, that should still be there. I don't think that will, I don't think that will grow out. It's big enough that the, the chestnut won't take over. I'm sorry, Robin, I know you thought contractions were done. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I am bouncing on the edge of the pool. The shaky from the yeah. Yeah, you, the puppies in this litter, they're all over 200 grams. The smallest is the Ruby, she's 204, and the Blenheim is 208. But the rest of them are all like upper 200s. They're 260, 280. Um, so they're all quite big. They're, they weigh more than what they look like they weigh. Remy's puppies, they weigh what they look like they weigh. Um, but these guys, they're... Um, it's a little early to tell, but they will probably be a little bit more like Macchiato, where they're, um, uh, they weigh a little bit more just because their, um, their frames are a little bit bigger. They're not going to be bigger dogs, I don't think, but because she was running out of room in there, um, like, despite having that little room, the puppies still went up to 280 grams, and so if they were able to grow that much with that tight of space, um, they're probably going to be on the bigger side for a Cavalier. Um, but Robin and Macchiato aren't necessarily big dogs. They're just really, they're just really, they're athletic. They're, um, they're dense and, um, they got a lot of meat on their bones. They're muscular. It's finally relaxing.
weird um, hanging out with a truck stop and you guys some some forks. Or like a fountain for this guy. schedule and yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was really like making the business work well. Oops, sorry about that. Robin's like, don't come near me with those hands if I'm having a contraction. <laughs> Is she still contracting? No, I think she's she's finally relaxing now. She, she had her eyes wide open when I came over here. <laughs> now that she's not in did, anything, did anything come out? No. I mean, I'll check a little bit closer in a second. But look at how beautiful she is. So Drew was not... He was resting when she was born. And I didn't wake him up right away. And as she was born, so she was coming out um, just like normal. She came out head first. When they come out, they... They come out like this and then kind of like do a turn and so I just saw all this white and then the black and brown and so I wasn't quite sure if she was a tricolor or just um black and tan with a lot of white but whenever we have black and tans that they've had all this white Drew initially will be thinking they're tricolor and I'd like to give him a hard time about it because um it was really only like the first pup the first black and tan we had that had quite a bit of white um and he was like are you sure it isn't a tri um, so I give him a hard time now, but it was just funny when he came over and he was like, she's almost like, and I was like, oh, I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> How pretty is she? I love her markings right here. Their fur is so soft.
Runnies are so big and healthy too that we should be able to start potty training them any any minute now. In fact, my res guys are due for a weight check. Oh yeah, I measured Stash. Oh, how what was he? Four pounds, four ounces. Oh, good makes sense. too soon. Nothing living came out. <laughs> Just a little bit of... A little bit of Lokia. Any OB nurses out there? Or any nurses? Ruby. Hey, uh, nice Ruby. He might be calling you Ruby again. Pretty Ruby. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, just the two oh, Robin, your puppies are so beautiful. You've got the best black and tan jeans. So does Remy. She's got beautiful looking things too. I can't believe how, how I cannot believe how close to breed standard her black and tans are. I know. Have you really looked at them? Oh, these guys? Yeah, they have such a little white. They have no white on their tails, which is usually one of the first places they get it when they're not going to be all black and brown. But like, really look at them.
so proud of Myra using the party tray right here. Huh? I'm so proud of Myra using the party tray right here. Oh, did you put this blanket in here? Yeah, I did. It fits nicely, doesn't it? It does. And it's already dirty. It seems to be like just right for her puppies. Yeah. That's kind of too much. Is the heat on? No, it's okay. Oh, oh she's, she's so receptive to that. She's so easy and gentle about it. She's going to be sweet. She's like, <laughs> yeah. Robin just stepped on him. Which reminds me of Daisy. Exactly what to do. Okay, I've been watching. I took notes. Did you have puppies crawl behind you? Or did you just twist around, huh? Oh my gosh. 
Sorry, sweetie.
Struck Robin out, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I went, went, went you over. came to protect the moms uh, from you and Mocha. I just went over and I was like, "Can we come see? It? Can we come say hello?" And she was okay with you know. And then when Mocha started getting like really kind of like, Cookie okay, just love going behind mom. Milk's not back there. I know it's warm and cozy, but there's no milk. Do you need water? Are you thirsty? You need some water. No. Are you sure you want a fountain drink from the truck stop? Do they make okay fountain drinks? Um, no, theirs are okay. It's McDonald's that needs to put in a filter. Theirs have gotten better. So funny, I started a match like when we were sitting, like about to go back to sleep or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the reason I asked you, like, am I in a match with you? 
was because the person had like their picture, and I remember you saying like that you you put your picture in there, but I couldn't quite like see the person's mm-hmm. picture real well, and um, she stayed at zero, pretty much the entire match, and I fell asleep during it, and then when I woke up, I went and looked at it, and she had only put in one. Like that weird. was yeah, I know. I thought that was weird. She just did one, and it was whatever the split was, which was like a, like eighteen twelve. Mm-hmm. She's so care- whenever she hears them squeal, she like she totally backs off and she, yeah, she, like, she gets nervous. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Myra. You're good. Sing your dog dub hasn't. And Andrew hasn't. Huh? Pet fish. Oh, uh, what? That's not true. He always does this on this particular account of mine. I don't but it's not out of my fish. Okay. I will be right back. Oh yeah, give me a fountain coke because like with the yeah, adrenaline, like the yeah. um, shakes and stuff and sweats. It's Wait, really good. did Bella get changed? She's in her wedding dress. Oh right.
potty? Do you need a tray?
gonna. No, go pick, go see your babies, sweetie. Go see your babies.
Where's the fussing coming from? <laughs> Silly puppy.
What's going on in here? Do you need to go outside? No, hey, baby. Bella. Hello. 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 You, you eat up to feed those puppies. Bella, come on, go. Bella.
hands up, please. <laughs> yourself? You don't need to win, Marshall. Alright, hey, go get your iPad. Oh, wait, no, pull that nose.
because then I get to like experiment with my outfits the entire weekend.
Jesus.
She wraps them up and then lays down away from them. And it's super cute because she's got her food dish and she was able to reposition her puppies so that they're like all just kind of squirming around. She's even got her food dish and they're all like right there tucked in um, by her belly. But she's got like, I don't know, she just looks, she's got all the blankets set up. She just looks like she made a little. A nest, like she's planted herself to be there for a while. <laughs> That's I think that, um, I think she is, you know, she's always the dog out there who is the lowest of the totem pole. And I think she really enjoys having those little guys. Oh, yeah. Like, she just seems to really love it. She, she, she's not the lowest on the totem pole, is she? She's not the most submissive. She might hurt my be. Yeah, it might hurt my be. The lower. I really just like terrified to, to do anything break wrong. the doggy rules. Oh, Here's the fish note now. Left. You want to come get some snuggles? Yeah. Oh, what else do you want? Into my snuggles. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, snuggles. Oh, you got wet nipples. <laughs> You're such a good girl, right? Wet nipples. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, you got to go too. Who's a good bunny dog? Uh, oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Hi. Yes, hello. Put your phone down and pet me. You're such a good girl. Who's a good mama? Are you a good mama? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a good mama. Social that I wonder being with her puppies is almost like. It's like you. <laughs> She's like, yeah, she. Remy, Remy, Remy. Alden is keeping a very close eye on you, sweetie. A very close eye. I don't know if you could take her, sweetie. I think you would just give up. <laughs> Come here. Come snuggle. Can you go back to your pups now? You came to say hello? Oh my 
be honest. Oh, what, what you know, is it? With you know what it is? She's trying to take you to her pups. Oh, do you want me to go to your puppies? Do you want to show me? Aww. Show me your puppies. That was so sweet. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> You want to show me? No, that's not your food. So you want to show me your puppies? <laughs> you got it? You want to show me? You know, when the day comes that we stop doing this, it's going to be hard to, like, call a last litter. It's going to be hard to be like, all right, this will be our last litter. I know. I know. They already need to be loosened. And I put them on loose. That's the funny thing is I don't even have to take them off.
It is so cool, Drew, seeing Robin with her little black and tan. Uh, yeah. If we thought it was really cool seeing the ruby, I mean, the black and tan is just such a stark difference. Myra, you are such a good mommy. You are such a good mommy. You're such good, a good girl. Partner, good girl. Mommy. Turn the temp down a little bit because she's panting so much. Okay. And I already set it, so it's good till 8 a.m. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'll come and say hello to you, Miss Robin. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, look at your time. Look at your book. Yeah, 100. Is that 100? Yeah, is that too low? No, it's good. Listen to all those Born these age, so. Yeah, I feel like, don't you feel like Myra's were born a few days ago? Uh, yeah. I keep forgetting they were born yesterday. Oh, and that, and then I also, like, oh, my God, that's right, they were born yesterday. No, not yesterday. The day before. The day before, sorry, yeah. yeah. But it feels like they were born several nights ago. Yeah, and that's why, like. I feel, because I wanted to say that, um, we don't usually turn it down until they reach Myra's born these age, but, no, they're still. No, okay. They're ready. still. Oh my god. <sighs> hey, you know what? At least she had them last night, and we aren't just finishing a whole day of delivering and pickups and. These little fucking rings. I know. Oh my gosh. Can we please throw them out? Yes, because they are sharp as shit. They I feel like stepped. The one that was over here on your little table, I stepped on that thing with a pointy side up. I thought I stepped on glass. Yeah, and that's what it just felt like just now. Right? Like, oh yeah, but I don't have socks on. Probably would have. Oh, God. You have your feet. Yeah, barefoot. But at least it wasn't like full foot. It was just my toes.
Christmas off too bad I'm getting home at 7 a.m. that morning. <laughs> That's not Christmas off. And Vita is working that night. <laughs>
proceed to text again. Give me that text again. All the black and tan white nails are so um, I know, it's bright. Looks like nail polish. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. You can let me keep her since you have makeup.
she had a puppy? I thought, yeah, I thought she had a puppy or something, and she was <laughs> slurping up the amniotic fluid.
this one. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate it. I appreciate what you do. She ordered moon bones because she wants to like, compare those photos of Megan. Because she thinks she found the one that she was using in the network special. And so she ordered it so that she could. Like, and she's ordering that. And then, like, she even found it. It's kind of crazy. A little cuckoo. But it just goes to, she's like, the, I heard that Harry and Megan basically sued everybody. 
and try to hope that basically counting on the fact that not everything's 100% factual or being reported or that not everything that causes this is opinion because they're hoping to get it taken down, which is why people who've written biographies have raised this um, guy named Tom Miller who's authored a lot of like royal biographies mm -hmm. and he's written a bunch about them and they haven't sued him like once because he's got like a really great um, factual yeah like,
fingers are wrapped around something. You can see when he turns that there's something in his palm. Wow. Yeah, maybe that's where I just went. <laughs> when was that? It was a month ago. Pregnant bellies don't, they don't do that. Like that. <laughs> Did my belly ever do that? No. <laughs> That's why she ordered the Umbo. It's never that loose. That's why she ordered the Umbo. I wonder if her trend like gets away that way. Like if she's so good at the thing. <laughs> oh, so they're going to to court? Yeah, yeah, they're going to trial. Dang. I don't know if she realized that you can't use those things at pregnancy.
did find out about Mel's suit or brain after she she and Mel was ordering the new bumps. Mm. So basically I'll go see the tweet she did, but she said that they didn't find out what the date to find out was the day after she announced the new bumps. Mm. That's hilarious. She pushed them in each slice. <laughs> Do you have your charger? I no. I thought it was over here when I came to charge your um, Chromebook, and so I just used one of our C chargers for it. I charged it in our bathroom. Oh, because I thought it was over here. It was over here. And did you do something with Nate's last Chromebook charger that was over in that corner? No, but that's my computer charger. Why are these chargers down here? They, um, so I brought it down uh, in because I brought my Chromebook charger down because I had to, I had like no time to charge it and go upstairs. Um, back upstairs to grab it uh, when the bus was coming. So I brought it down over there and then for some reason, I don't know what happened, but later on it was in here. I don't know where it went. So use a C charger like I was using. And a C charger will work. It doesn't have to be that specific charger. Oh, um. You need more C chargers than any other chargers. Is this the one that, that says your name on it? Yeah. We got three, three dogs that had puppies down here, so I'm not really sure where it went to. Well, I can tell you that the day she used it was right there, and then later that day it was just gone. It was moved. Like, it wasn't like a lot was going on, because I went looking for it to lose it. Check the W. Uh, no. Um, but uh, we uh, do we know where one of the Nintendo triggers are? So you have one in the living room for a long time. Behind the chair. seen it there and put it on the steps for you.
happened when you go outside? Can I go outside, sweetie? Yeah, let's go outside. Can you go outside, go potty? Come on. Who's a good mama? You're such a good mama. Aww. <laughs> I love how you get yourself behind them. <laughs> you are such a good girl, mama dog. Who's a good mama, Robin?
come sit with me and dad? You want to sit with me and dad for a minute? You need to go outside? You can go potty? Let's try going potty again.
sorry it took so long. Right when my phone went off, uh, a new round started. So I had to finish that first. Oh, should I take my medicine tonight? Yes. Alright. two times in a row. Oh, cool. That happened twice today. <laughs> you doing good? Love you, buddy. Love you, too. Oh. And you really have to spam it when, um, like, it's a standoff, and, like, mm -hmm. you get really close with the person. You have to really spam it. <laughs> and a lot of, uh, a lot of people cheat with auto-clicker. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Love you. Love you, Dad. Bye, buddy.
Christmas fire on a good girl. see the form that it had, but that was mushing together. I just like kind of just like mm -hmm, nope. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to upset you.
you're such a good mama.
Go see your babies. Can't sleep, Remy. Go see your babies. Look. I'm telling Remy that it's late. She should go see her babies. Use it unless I have the remote so I can mute it. Oh. Otherwise, it's gonna void or mute it. Who's barking? Remy.
I'm glad we got the pen with the gate. What's up? I'm glad we got the pen with the gate. Yeah.
we're signing off for the night, everybody. Sleep well. We'll see you all tomorrow.